Okay, back to the investigation. We need to solve this one quickly. Though we are still only on episode one. I think there's six episodes altogether. But I'm pretty sure the other episodes don't take nearly as long. Oh no! I can't really remember all that happens, really. I don't think there's that many combat areas left. I can think of a few. But, hmm. I'm gonna start just burning through the episodes eventually. Wonder if we can go to George's house yet. I don't even remember where he lives. No, he's still at the bar. That's no good. We will find him eventually. And the hotel is pretty close, actually. Turn signal on. Back to the hotel. We can sleep in a bed tonight, Zack. Instead of sleeping on the side of the road where zombies look at us. Chocolate chip cookie. I'd kind of want one of those, but it's probably like a hundred dollars. I know the cookie ain't that good. Wish they would have given me a key point. Okay then, Zach. Let's go back over our progress. I think this is the end of episode one, actually. First the victim, Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off and I found something inside her mouth. Man, I think this is a quiz, yeah. Ah, what did you find? Inside her mouth. Wasn't a candy. Yeah, it was a seed. Right? That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed. But traces of tears were still evident on her face. Which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber room, and then carried her body into the woods after it's not clean. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. Wood chip metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back. One other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Glad it kind of recaps it like this. At the scene of the crime, we found a broken heel. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and this stiletto heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. You probably should have used forensic methods, huh? Have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zack? I do. What do you think she was holding on to? It was a round object, so definitely not a wig or a knife. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a piece mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside-down piece mark on his back. 
these two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next town folk. Kind of a long Family recap. Their special attention. Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormac, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who's out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. On to episode two. I've been thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. But it did make me feel strange. Nostalgic and sad almost. Zach, is that love? It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a Root beer? Don't recall seeing that around. I don't think his truck has very many percentage points left either. We need to find a police car to switch this thing out with. It's about to blow up. Four and a half hours? I don't think so. Especially considering I kind of sped through the first half. Well, maybe. Since I've been recording again, it's probably been about two hours. Maybe two and a half. Guess I might check out. Kinda have a lot of money now, too. And I don't think there's much I need to buy. Well, there are some things. That's why we need to go to the convenience store. Episode 2? Weird loading screen faces. Yep, episode two. Are you thirsty? You must be very thirsty. No, 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 I'm fine, thank you. You only take milk with your coffee. Coffee with milk, that's all. Ladies all around. Who are you? My name is Becky. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. Okay, creepy. After your throat is quenched, you must do what you must do. Urine cup. Take a sip of coffee and go. Dream World coffee. It's amazing.
Probably shouldn't have drank that coffee, Zack. Lollipops. And a cookie. Free cookie. I believe one of the missable cards is in here. Hello? Anyone in this void? You know that chocolate's bitter. It's like jet black wrapper. Hey, it's you. Let's hold my breath again. Starting to get that beard. That's me. When what happened? I don't know. Let's look at this tomato sauce. Still storming. These blankets are ridiculous. I'd expect more from a better hotel. Must have been uncomfortable sleeping that in a suit like that. looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet. But I do know I need some coffee. Need some more fortune telling. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. Since you cannot carry any more items, chocolate chip cookies have been moved to your toolbox. Okay. My dream world chocolate chip cookie. Well, what can I get rid of? I need a bigger... This thing. We got an egg. Let's eat it. You took your time to eat the egg. Green tomato. You ate a lot of that tiny green tomato. I want my cookie back. Where's my toolbox? Unacceptable. Got a bar, pipe, shovel, bullets, and a cookie. Let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> 